Holy flying red deer, Batman. Alrighty. Okay. I hear the geese again. See their shadows. There they are. Still can't spot. Holy, that's a lot of geese. I still can't spot them. Can I spot them? No? Okay, then. That's the wrong way. Where do I want to go? That way. Yeah, that way. I we went this way before. Anyways, hello and welcome to the channel. For today's video, we are in Hirschfeld. Why? Because true rack red deer and I am stuck on what? Okay. Uh, true rack red deer. Anyway, so everyone's going to probably end up going to Quattro Colinas and Parque Fernando. I, on the other hand, I'm going to check out Hirschfelden. I don't know why. I mean, I've been over kind of why I like Hirschfelden before. It's just, uh, I don't know. I, it's less buggy. There were a bunch of bug fixes listed, and I could go th through kind of like I did last time. Well, wow, same pigs are here. I could go through last uh, like I did last time about all the different bug fixes, but the two that I kind of care about, they haven't fixed. One is the warning calls with grizzly bear. I did a video on that a while back. That still doesn't seem to work. Uh, you can hear their footsteps finally, but still not their warning calls. And then something I actually didn't even realize until after I exported the all hunting all the bears or bow hunting all the bears video, that would be the video before last, I think, by the time this comes out. And that is that Every time I shot the black bear, I didn't get the ow you touched me growl. Good hit. I didn't realize that none of them made that sound. They made the animation for it. There's a couple times I zoomed in right as the shot took and they did the animation as if they were supposed to make the call, but they didn't. So Hirschfeld it is hopefully a little less buggy. I can always cross my fingers and I'm going for red deer. Now, last time, I think it was over here, I finally found that, uh, I think it was a roe deer I ended up going for, and I stumbled across a red deer. So I'm thinking that around this lake here, there's gonna be some red deer. And uh, probably only gonna do this for a little bit, maybe a couple videos, but in all, because in all reality, gotta get back to Leighton Lake and find that moose. But I wanted a break, that moose frustrated me. So time for some red deer, hopefully. If I can climb this little hill here. Oh, uh, well, my spreadsheet is broken uh, because according to my, the, and not my spreadsheet, I use a good guy's spreadsheet. Basically, I use a spreadsheet that Fooster goes on about with Taco, and I use a spreadsheet that uh, Zaggy also goes on about. I use them both. And the reason being is some have some information, some have the other, and I find that in combination they work both. The only problem is, is that the max weight class it's showing 238 pounds that's not right i'm gonna take a whack that's supposed to be kilograms uh but if i remember correctly 529 is a big in 529 is a big in so i think we'll kind of head off this way and see how far away he is i gotta try and find like a poo track or something usually a pretty good idea if you just startled him is folded down foliage will be folded down between tracks like how you leave but seeing as i'm not seeing that i'm gonna take a whack he's we got some time before we catch up to him of course it also kind of looks like he just jumped off a cliff i do actually find this interesting that is where i got that last red deer 529 he could be a monster what is the betting he headed to that water now real quick normally if i were following an animal like this and i come across a spot like this where i ha oh have a large clear line of sight. Oh, there's pigs. Um, I would try and call them and at least get a kind of ping as to where they are. Problem is, is the wind is going that way. So that wouldn't work because I'd just be trying to call them into my wind. Oh, is that what I'm hearing, the pigs? It almost sounds like I can hear the tearing of the grass as they're eating. Which I could understand, except there's got to be one closer, right? Because you wouldn't, that's, they're a hundred yards away. You're not going to hear the grass tearing at 300 feet. <gasps> there he is.
That is a good looking bugger. What's he, uh, what's he doing? He's fleeing. Ah. Uh, he's still fleeing? He's not very good at fleeing. He basically ran up the hill, turned around, and started going back down. So that is him. But he is a... That might not have been him. There is more than one. Okay, so first things first. Let's do a little of this. Just in case that does any good. That wasn't the same one, was it? I hear him. I'm gonna go ahead and be within range and not fling him. Or am I hearing the fox? All right, I'm about 99% sure what I heard walking right here was a fox. About 99% sure that I'm entirely wrong in that decision. I can't. Well, he's right here in front of me. I, I hear him, but I I heard him flee, so I need to move up, get over this hill. So they're they're over here at this lake. So we're just gonna work our way around over here, let everything settle down find out if there's one or two. So that 529 track I picked up earlier... Wait, what was that right there? I'm gonna take a whack. That was a pig or something? I don't know. Oh. Uh, well, that answers that. I don't think it was... I don't think he's what I was hearing over here. Because that guy's stuck fleeing. 106 yards, calm wind. He's just a seven. Try and get that scope as close to accurate as possible. There we go, 106. Breathe. Maybe even try prone. Good hit. Do one more to be sure. Holy flying red deer, Batman. And he... Okay. He supermaned his way off that cliffside, but that'll work, because where he is should give me a good line of sight on whatever keeps sneaking up in these woods here. Okay, listen, bud. No, oh, that was a pig. What? Oh, what do we got right down there? A bush. Okay, I. Yep. All right, so the body's right over there, but I got this fun part of trying to get up here without making too much noise. Because either this red deer that I already brought down was scooting around pretty quick around here, or there was another one in these grove of trees. All right, well. I'm hoping at least one of my shots caught a lung. I know I hit him twice. Wow, that's some... That is some beefy looking uh, antler there. Now, one thing I will make a note of while looking at this, this rack here is that it seems to be like lower resolution textures, which would make sense considering the fact they have to make it, you know, be able to morph to anything. But like... You got a hard angle there. There's a couple hard angles up here. I don't know, just... And then this weird kind of bulbousy thing going on in the meat here. And then it'll... Uh... Okay, as I get close, it kind of smooths out, but you got like a real sharp point with a couple hard angles on the bevels. I don't know. It's cool that they got the true rack going, but to me, it, it doesn't look as good as the legacy racks did. But then again, that makes sense, because the legacy racks, you know, they could put a lot of effort in, and one-size-fits-all kind of thing. 
this since they gotta make it morphable. But anyways, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. I got lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I got so very lucky. And they didn't, um... Yeah, this makes sense. I know everyone says it, but my lord, guys. They, they need to have a way to... It, it's an object, right? It's recognizable. Have the point of view scale to the object size. If you're going to have a rack view. So that the whole rack is in the view. Oh, lord. Anyways... 205, so small gold, but he is the first gold with the new scoring system. I got the legacy uh, diamond in the same lodge, so we're going to grab him and take him with, and I would like to find another. My god, it's gotten windy. All right, where do I want to go? I guess I'm going to keep working my way around and let some calls out, if I can get up here, and see if I can draw anything to the water line around here. Hey, road right here. Oh, God. Alrighty, as far as endgame goes, Red Deer drink time is just about up. So, chances of me finding anything more down by that body of water, not so likely. Also, it's the edge of the map. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way up over this hill. Since it's the next one up is their rest time, I believe. Yeah, rest time for middle of the day. Uh, they'll be back away from the water's edge, off in the woods. God dang, that actually kind of scared me a little. Uh, these greener trees like this. So I'm going to actually cross through this little valley here and take a look over around this lake. Let's see if there's anything back in the woods from there. Meanwhile, areas like this where I have nice, large, wide field of view, I see nothing. Nothing living. So I thought I saw something, but I didn't. Okay. So, moving on. Uh, these geese just flew out of a mountain. Doesn't appear to be any good ones in there, I guess. I could have sworn you used to be able to spot these things. But I guess not. Anyways, as you get up there, it gets too steep to get over. So I'm going to hop down in this valley and take a look down in here. Uh, it's... Where's my mouse? This one over here. Apparently I've never been there. And just see if there's anything interesting. Oh. Hey. I hear movement right above me. That is a doe. You, on the other hand. Oh. I'll take it. And that was just a pair of... Nope. I was going to say, that's just a pair of does, but no, nope, apparently there was one more up there, so let's see if we can't bring him back. Doe. Doe. Uh-oh. Okay, wait, where'd the buck go? Oh, that was him. Wasn't it? I hear movement right down here. There. It's not appearing like the rest of them are coming back anytime soon. So I'm going to take this opportunity to start collecting up. And you might be asking yourself, why shoot the does? Money. When you're grinding in this game, never pass up an opportunity because every little bit helps. The only reason I wouldn't shoot the does, honestly, when they present themselves like this, is if I was specifically going for something and that might spook that something. So there's 623 cash, double lung. You look kind of sad. 600 cash, double lung, single set of splits. So he might be a silver? Yep, silver. 54. That was a double lung heart shot at 52 yards. Woohoo! 664. 
take it. So I'm going to continue making my way through this valley down to the water. There's a water line over that ridge. I'm honestly surprised the only thing I've had in this area has been roe deer. Having no red deer, no hogs, nothing. Well, that and the geese, but there's always geese flying around. Wait, what? That's probably a roe deer, right? Yep. Wait. I like how I stopped for a second to say about how there's just nothing here. I don't know what that is, but that looks like a buck to me. Oh. I just want eyes. I know that was a doe that way. Now, I was guessing off coloration, and I would be wrong that was a doe. But in the shadow, I thought it was, oh well, 660. More money. Plus, I found a new spot to grab some uh, roe deer from. Let's just find a good spot here. There's two. I can't see the one on the left. And maybe there was only one. There was only one. Okay. I was hearing things. That happens. Another double lung. Ooh. Actually almost missed the double lung on that. 702 cash. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this one. I got a couple more spots I got to check out for Red Deer, but they're halfway across the map, I think. So, there's buttons if you liked the video, buttons if you didn't, and as always, buttons to push. Until next time, and after I get a couple more, then we'll uh, take the best one, stick it in the lodge, and kind of take a look at how the rack looks compared to the legacy rack.